Hi everybody and welcome to the next episode of Avishos 3D. So what do you get when you print this many parts and then you add a trip to the hardware store with some of this, some of that, a bunch of this, and a whole lot of these. Even more of these. There we go. That's a lot. And I'll show you on this episode of Episodes 3D. Now that's so many parts because we are printing a fourth axis gimbal stabilizer for a camera. Now there are several different versions in Thingiverse. The one I selected was the fourth axis gimbal stabilizer pro model I understand it's a pro 2 it's supposed to be 30 percent more stable but it already started printing so I went ahead with this one so we open it up and take a look at the, the files it's it's a lot of files it is all my files were done on an ender 2 or not an ender 2 I'm sorry they were done on a CR10 half with a 0.4 nozzle the other half with a one millimeter nozzle to tell the difference. The thing I like about this one also is there's a video on how to assemble it because there's quite a bit of hardware that I had to get at the hardware store. About $36 in nuts, bolts, screws, and springs. So there's a step-by-step -step instruction guide video to help you through the whole thing. So I'm going to start putting it together and we'll stop in to see how it's going every step of the way. Okay, we'll have to have four nylock nuts, two regular nuts, and a three quarter inch hex bolt. These are all a quarter inch by coarse 20 threads. And they go right in. Go. Now you can use super glue to keep these in place. I'll probably do that in just a little bit. Super glue takes a while to set up and dry. Okay, that one and that one. So that's your first step getting your screws and bolts in place. So I've got half of it done. Take a look. So here's the handle, and it goes like this it moves back and forth. So you put the camera here. Maybe on a post or a flat, and then as you hold this, everything will be nice and smooth with the camera as you move it back and forth. It should stabilize itself. So it's looking pretty great. We'll see how it goes as time goes on here. I'll go ahead and build the other half here in just a minute. Here's your final product. Camera attaches here. I'll have pictures of the camera being attached, of course, abusing the camera right now to record. You have an adjusting knob for all the tensions here and here. Here. That's the attention for the spring. And uh, you have some nice handles, and the handles are adjustable as well. Now, you notice the handles are black. I had this can of liquid tape that I was using for electronics, and I thought, you know what? Let's see what would happen if I put it on here. It gives me a little bit better gripping surface, like this. So, this looks great. Uh, I posted the pictures before this segment of the video, so you can see what it looks like in different configurations. But I am super happy with the way this turned out. As you can see, um, you can move or walk, and if you're shooting video, this will absorb all the shock as you're doing it and smooth it out. Not bad for something 3D printed, huh? Alright, um, as always, if you have any questions, go ahead and put a comment below and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this version of Average 3D. You guys have a great day.